equity side. I'm from CBTP. We're going to have a meeting tomorrow. It's not going to be like this. There won't be any shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. It's going to be sitting, sitting, sitting. So I am so glad to be here. Uh, today, I'm going to talk about something that's near and dear to your heart. Before I start, how many people are sitting next to their phones? This is going to be so interesting. This is going to be so interesting. Okay, so what I'm going to talk to you about, something near and dear to your heart, is your relationship with your boss. And I'm going to use a theory called leader member exchange theory to give you the framework of how relationships evolve between you and your boss. And uh, this was a theory that was created by Grand and Cashman back in 1975. And the premise of the theory states that a leader has a different type of relationship with each and every one of their employees. Took them in 1975 to figure it out. <laughs> so they think that a relationship evolves through three different phases. Low quality relationship, middle quality, and high quality. Most of the research has been done on low and high quality relationships. They say that the people in the high quality relationships, they have higher job satisfaction. They have higher OCB, that is not a disease or a illness. <laughs> that is organizational citizenship behavior. So anything that you do outside of your formal job description, that's OCB. They have less turnover intent. Hey, they have less work stress. They have less role ambiguity. Sound like the perfect person to work for you, right? And low quality is the opposite. So the middle quality is what I did my dissertation of. And they found out some fascinating things about them. But before I get to that, let me, I need some props. Lacey had props. So <laughs> these are my two props. Let me explain how the relationship evolves. So let's say that I have David and Kristen, and I don't know them. Bear with me, I'm in Alaska. I just got here, and I know everybody know everybody. It's like one to two degrees separation, but let's pretend like you don't know me. So I hire them. And so they come in to work, you know, they're happy. So they come in and they do their job according to the formal job description. Okay? Me as your boss, I'm going to make sure you get trained. I'm going to make sure you get, you know, um, acclimated to the organizational culture. And guess what? I'm going to pay you. This is what you call a cash and carry relationship. Transactional. Don't know anything about it. So I look at them and say, oh, they got a little potential. I'm going to see if they'll do something for me. So I go down and say, hey, you know, we're running behind. Can you work Saturday and Sunday? No, just say yes. <laughs> Mutual respect, 
loyalty, dependability. And guess what? There's a law of reciprocity. Because she's saying, wait a minute now, you know, I put in all this time. What do I get in return? Any type of relationship, some of the things that people get in return, some of the perks could be every few time they get a nice, healthy raise. Y'all know those, right? <laughs> healthy raise, you know? Or <laughs> I may say, hey, you know, Chris, you know, you did such a great job. You put in a lot of time. Take off next week. Take a day off. I got you. Or it could be that some of the perks that she may receive because of the time that she has spent with me, I am mentoring her. I am coaching her. I am helping her to get up the corporate ladder. That's, middle, that's high quality. But guess what my research found? That the people in the middle quality, they have higher job satisfaction than high quality. They have less turnover tent than high quality. They have less role ambiguity, less work stress. Because by now, Kristen is tired of me calling her name. She said, do you know somebody else's name? Quit calling me. The great thing about this theory is that even though I'm speaking to you from the perspective of a leader, and remember how things going? Okay, okay. Let's take it in. Um, <laughs> it can be applied to your friends, to your relatives. I got a couple relatives that have been low quality. <laughs> you know, and, and the crazy thing about this theory, it states that once you get in a, a, a quality, a certain quality, that you become static. That's not true. I did some research, and as I said, the middle quality is more fascinating. The bulk, I, I am, step back for a minute, I managed up to 60 some people. I had a span of control of eight people directly reporting to me. Most of the people were in the middle quality. My two highest producers were in the middle quality. Julie, I wanted her to be in my high quality. She said, I can't. She said, because I have guardianship of my child, of my granddaughter. But then it was Vicky. Vicky really wanted to be in my high quality. But Vicky got some. There's no trust. You gotta have trust when you talk about these high quality type of relationships. And you know the weird thing about it? This I found out through my research. So you're probably sitting there like, I know quality. Yeah, they do that. I know quality, I'm not high quality. <laughs> There's only 30 something percent congruency between what you think the quality of the relationship is versus what your boss is. <laughs> Thank you. 